I think we all feel pretty relieved that we got um, to the groups from planes. It's just uh, it's more like more chill now because we played so many games in planes and it's kind of stressful. You don't want to lose or drop games against like weaker teams. For me, it doesn't really matter usually where I play. I just enjoy the highest level of League of Legends wherever I am. So I guess being in Korea is nice. I mean, I like Korea. Like I like Korea and I like. Korean players and yeah, I don't necessarily really think about it too much. I think the nicest thing is though that because we usually we both came in Korea, that now we stay in Korea. So I guess that is actually why it's super cool that it's here. Like we can boot camp here and then we don't have to fly again and change places. We just like change hotel and we are still on the same server using same playing high elo solo queue. So yeah, actually that is. No, the more I think about it, it's really cool that it's in Korea. <laughs> because I can play solo queue, I'm challenger now, so yeah, I can keep playing my high level solo queue. This is a team that's been to Worlds many a time already, mm -hmm. but this is the first time they had to qualify for the main stage through planes. It's the first time where I feel like there's almost no pressure on them because they were always seen as the best European team, but they had this stigma around failing at international tournaments. But they are here, they are qualified, and now it's all about this best of one. You get a massive grenade in your face. Here we go, mid. Perks is going to be drowsy, but the damage comes in from G2, and Hjarnan picks up Kuro. The Baron is below half HP. Wonder continuing to push. What is the choice here for the side of Afrika? They're deciding to commit to the fight as Perks will keep Kuro away from the rest of the members of his Afrika, team. Afrika, what Wonder are you doing? Still putting in work on the enemy base. Spirit's going to be taken down to half HP. Stun coming in from the grenade. Spirit is deleted. Yankles finds the kill credit for himself as the bottom lane inhibitor will be absolutely wrecked. Look Looks like door. a freak of freaks base is in some trouble. Yanko's getting himself away off the side. Tucson gonna be going in the ulti, keeping himself alive. Turret falls at the Nexus. Afrika, you've got to answer. Kramer's nearly gonna be taken down. Take a drink. Yanko's goes on a killing spree as wonders into the back line trying to finish everyone else. And G2 will take down the Afrika freaks. What a game one from G2 Esports in the group stage. Afrika Freaks read pages two to 40 of the prep document on G2. How did they miss page one with the Heimerdinger on it? We did well, considering our peaks. We fucked up some things in the early game, but like our macro in general after like 20 minutes is actually pretty good now, where before that was kind of our issue. So right now I feel like we actually improved on it a lot, playing around vision, playing with each other, waiting for each other after like after landing phase. First of all we got Heimerdinger, which always is a separate draft because we never expect to get it actually. Um, but I think this was the cleanest play around board we ever did the whole year. Because Africa put a lot of resources into that and we answered every single time correctly. I mean, once or twice Talia had the chance to actually gank, but besides that, it was super clean and super um, patient, and so I'm very happy. Yeah, and he was like, no, it's so sad. We were picking Heimerdinger because we thought it was like the best pick for us, as we, it always worked for us in scrims. And we were like not really planning for it when we were like drafting against Africa. We were more like, we thought it would ban it like everybody else was doing. So when it was open, we were just like really confident that we could just bring it out and have like a controlled game where we can just have both pressure and get full vision control on both sides and then just play the game slow, which we were able to do pretty good. Thank you, Ovali, as we are gearing up for game number two with G2 Esports. Hope to rekindle that magic from yesterday versus Fong Vu Buffalo. There's certainly a lot to play for as the game develops. Jankos is going to eat some harass, but 
Ryan's got his ulti back, so he's just gonna try and clear this. What he can, what he can. Oh goodness. He, he face checked the ulti, and that's a first blood for Noel. Oh, that was so bad from Yankos. The disrespect there. You kind of look back at the best of five. Ooh, they may have found Sarah. Got an ulti's in. Perk's already gonna grab another knockup, and that's a good kill. G2 gonna pick it up as so Odin, gonna maybe try and turn it back around. He engages the Perk. Already popped well under his Yankos. Completes the flank, but the Zaya's still alive. Big Koro is just forcing out the DPS. Perks is going down. That's gonna be a double kill. Make it another triple for Desire from the bot lane. And Yarden and Wadid head for the hills, buddy. I mean, Yankos is they're all the way up. back around the fight. I don't know what they can really do. PvP and is running G2 around in their own base as Big Cora moves in for cleanup duty. Pallet takes down Wadid into portal combat as Perks is fighting the jungler and losing. And Bongu Buffalo, it just feels like they can't put anything out of place. They're gonna move in and smash this Nexus. In best of ones, it happens, you know, like we made some mistakes and then we got behind and then they were just snowballing. But I don't feel like the enemy team played too well. We got so many kills on them and like made comeback plays when it should not be possible. I'm like a bit mad right now and sad that we lost, right? Since it's the best of one, but I think we know what to do for next games. Yeah, overall, I think we are actually a good team and it we are doing well in terms of our morale as well, which is actually a very big problem for many teams, like so late into the, into the year. Like it's been like 10 months now and we've gone through a lot and we are like still holding on together. So that also gives me hope for this tournament.